Welcome to another edition of Using the Zolar Laser. Today's topic is using the laser for hemostasis. We see here an upper second molar which has a composite MO restoration. When we remove it we can see decay on the buckle aspect of the box. Closer inspection reveals the decay is quite uh, super gingival or subgingival and you can see here bleeding has started. We now take the tip of the laser in an initiated state. We want to try and control the hemostasis. Very, very light dabbing motions will help. You want to be creating very light touch with an initiated tip at around 0.8 to 1 watts. Well, what we're doing is actually removing the superficial amount of tissue here and in the same time because the diode is well absorbed in hemoglobin we're able to create a nice clot in a very short period of time. When we're doing resins we don't want to have any bleeding going into the box so this just allows us to be able to place our matrix without fear of contaminating the box with heme. Here in roughly 15 to 20 seconds the laser which was ready to go has allowed us to uh, clean out the box and now we're able to put our matrix on. You see there's no more bleeding here. Closer inspection reveals a nice clean margin. We place our matrix on which is a Garrison 3D ring and here's our final restoration in place. Thanks again for watching this episode of Lazing is Amazing with Dr. Glenn Vanasse.